Hello there, this is Dr. Mintz. I wanted to go through an interesting case. This is a two-year-old female who came in in a great deal of abdominal pain. And children between the ages of oh, a couple months and two years of age are known to get what they call intussusception. Intussusception is a telescoping of bowel into an adjacent area of bowel. You may have seen examples of this and may have been involved in procedures where an intussusception reduction was performed. The common type of intussusception uh, that children incur is iliocolic intussusception. That means the distal small bowel, the ilium, intussuscepts telescopes into the colon, iliocolic intussusception. Uh, we used to do uh, barium enemas and contrast studies uh, to determine whether or not that was present. We have found that ultrasound works quite well for that. This is an ultrasound <clears throat> and again it, it illustrates how hard it is to know what you're looking at unless you're told. This, set, this says right lower quadrant. I guess this could be liver here, but you know, you just have a mash of whatever. This looks like a lymph node, this kind of oval structure with hypoechoic darker perimeter and hyperechoic or whiter, lighter central area is typical because fat typically is echogenic, bright, and whiter. So this is the fatty hilum of a lymph node, and this is the lymph tissue in its perimeter. And here we have a couple other lymph nodes, not really significant, but they notice these as they're scanning, and they make note of them and measure them in case they're abnormally large. This is not. And you look at this, and you think, bullseye. Well, exactly. That's what this is. This is a bullseye, and this is the characteristic finding, the appearance of intussusception. What you have is you have colon here, on the outside and small bowel on the inside. Now, small bowel, because it has kind of turned itself inside out as it slid into the colon, gives you a couple of layers, its innermost and outermost, which are somewhat difficult to distinguish here, but uh, this looks like one layer here with the internal uh, mucosa here, and then this is the other layer with the mucosa of it opposed to the colonic mucosa. It's a little hard to picture three-dimensionally, but this target sign, this bullseye sign, is the classic appearance of intussusception, and we can see it very well on ultrasound, and when we see it, we'll often go ahead and do an intussusception reduction. Now, this is good because it also shows you that there is vascularity. We have vascular flow in the intussusception. Here we have a longitudinal view showing here's small bowel here. Colon is up here. And this is unusual because we're seeing in the right lower quadrant a very short length of intussusception. Believe it or not, most of the cases the small bowel has already gone up to the hepatic flexure and across the transverse colon and sometimes well into the left colon. This is a very limited short length and you can see these two reflections here. You can see that the mucosa here is coming from the small bowel and then it's folded back upon itself. So you have this inside out kind of appearance with the opposing layers of small bowel adjacent to one another, and then you have colon out here. So what we saw a moment ago was a cross-section through this, right through that, and that's what you're seeing here, okay? So it's a little difficult to picture in your mind, but that's the general idea of what intussusception is. So this was pop. Okay, it was also a little bit of free fluid. This anechoic area next to bowel is free fluid.
OK. So that is the ultrasound. So we brought the patient into the fluoroscopy suite. We put a rectal catheter in. Here you can see the balloon tip is inflated within the rectum. It's secured. We inf in in, uh, inflated the colon with a measurement and continuous monitoring of the pressure in the colon. We have a pressure manometer on the flexible bulb that we use to push the air in. So we're inflating the colon, filling it up, but also monitoring its pressure. And right here is the right colon, and we don't really see it here, but I think one of the subsequent images here will show it nicely. I'm trying to get it in profile, I think that there was a very redundant sigmoid colon, and that's what we have kind of folded over it. So when we were, when we were able to oblique her, we then saw, aha, we've gotten that redundant sigmoid colon out of the way. Here we have right colon coming down here, and this filling defect, this bulge st sticking into it. Remember that air in this particular image is going to be really white, so the filling defect is going to be darker. So here you have air and bowel, air and bowel, and here you have this little filling defect-like thing. And this is even a better view, showing air and colon, air and colon. This is cecum. This is where we want to see the small bowel connecting, and we have this filling defect here instead. Okay, so I'm pushing in air, holding it for a while, and then releasing it after a couple minutes, and hoping, praying that this will reverse and pop right out into its normal native position as small bowel. Remember, what you're looking at here is cecum, and this is bulging, protruding, telescoping, distal small bowel that's bulging into the cecal lumen. And got another view here. By the way, it's very important with, when doing fluoroscopy with anyone, but particularly children and infants, that you know how to use image capture so that if you do a brief moment of fluoroscopy and you have that image on the screen and you want to get a picture, you don't actually have to do a fluoroscopic x-ray image, you can just save the image that's on the monitor, which is not as high a resolution, not nearly, but it's adequate for many purposes, especially procedural purposes like this. Uh, now that was just exposed a little differently, but now this is a good view. See this? Bloop, bloop, that is that filling defect, this whole area here, dun, dun, bulging in. This is the distal bowel protruding into the colon. All right, so I'm trying, and time is going by here. And here it is again. Here's cecum. Here's that filling defect. Here's the right colon, cecum. Here we have that filling defect still, and trying multiple times, inflating, deflating. And here's a good shot of that. So this that is protruding in is what we're concerned about. And all of a sudden, plop, it seemed to be gone. Did another view. It seemed to be gone. It was gone. And I actually was able to see under fluoroscopy that this thing had inverted and popped out. And very gratifying to be able to provide this procedure. And parents, of course, are right there and there. Very appreciative. So this is an example of an intussusception reduction, the ultrasound findings, and the fluoroscopic procedure.